image block is uh, the second most commonly used block in Gutenberg after the paragraph block so let's see how to work with it you can add an image block by either going uh, clicking on the plus uh, icon on the top and search for the image block and clicking on it it gives you this option uh, where, where you can either select to upload an image from your computer or select images from the media library or from an external URL so uh, you can click on the image and select the image and hit enter and that's it so this is one way to add an image the other way is by from your empty paragraph type the forward slash and search for type image and it gives you the suggestion you click on this and the image block is added and you can do the same step as I showed you earlier another uh, way if you want to add an image from your computer is by directly drag the image from your computer to uh, the position where you need it for example if I drop it here it will upload the image to your media library WordPress media library and also at the same time add the image here on the same position where you drop it so this, these are the ways you can add an image block now let's see what are the options we have for for the image block so if you select the image block uh, you'll see the top toolbar with the following options so as I told you earlier uh, each block in the Gutenberg has different options on the on the top toolbar and in the sidebar settings when the when a particular block is selected so you see some options here and some options on the right sidebar so let's first see explore the options available in the top toolbar the first option is standard first two options are standard in which are available in all the blocks you select so the first one it shows you the transform two options from to to which you can transform this block or convert this block to another block type and below that it also shows you the available or registered styles you have for this block block I'll so this block can the image block can be transformed to a gallery block group block is available as an as a transform two option to all the blocks so it just enclosed the particular block into a group so let's explore how it, the gallery block transform works so if you click on this you see this the image block is now converted to a gallery block where you can add more images from the media library to uh, create a gallery as you can see there are three images now and these are this is converted to a gallery block um, other transform options we have for the image block is suppose you you have added an image but you want to write some content on over it so you can simply uh, convert it to a cover block and then write your content over it or add uh, other blocks as well which which the cover block allows you I will cover the cover block in another video uh, anyway so let's undo the these changes okay so other options for the image block to transform are the file and media and text so media and text simply is this block where you have the media on the left or right and on the other part you write your content or add any other block so I'll cover this block as well in another video so for now I'll convert it to the image block again so so this option the second option is the block mover or, or whatever you call it it allows you to move the block up and down or you can drag a block up and down like this the next option is the image alignment option now it shows you to allow it gives you the options to align image to left right or center with the text or any other block and the other two options are wide width and full width now keep in mind that these two options are dependent on the theme you are using if your theme is uh, is considering these uh, or allowing you to 
have these options you will have this if you don't see this it means your theme is not supporting these options talk to the theme author about this so what this does uh, is this expands the uh, image to a wide or full width of your container a document container or page container so this is what these two does now the next option is uh, the insert link option you can either uh, link this particular image to its own media file or attachment page and alternatively you can also link it to an internal pa page by searching for the page here and, or any external link the link option by clicking on this arrow in the in the image blog gives you more uh, properties for for the link for like the link referral real type and the CSS class for the link and also an option to open the link in a new tab so these options are hidden in this uh, little arrow as you can see so the next option in the Gutenberg uh, image block is really interesting this is recently added in the latest update of the Gutenberg or WordPress I can say so if you click on this this basically gives you more options here one is which which allows you to edit the image in line right inside here without going into uh, image editing tool uh, which was really not possible earlier with the classic editor these options are only available in Gutenberg so what you can do is you can zoom an image if you want to crop it for example if I if I want to crop and make this uh, this plate of the image let me zoom out the page itself so you can see so you can zoom in adjust it and uh, apply this when you apply this 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 a new image in your media library will be saved a new version of this image will be saved uh, with with this particular uh, sizing or cropping so if I show you how uh, in the media library uh, as you can see this is a new image uh, which has been generated by the Gutenberg editor the original was this one and the new image has been generated so your old image or the original image is safe uh, and uh, you can always go into the replace option uh, and go open the media library and select the original image again and uh, you will be fine in case you mistakenly uh, done some cropping or uh, etc so don't worry your image the original image is safe inside the media library so the next option in the in the image editing option is this aspect ratio selector so uh, suppose you this this original aspect ratio is not what you are looking for uh, to place in this particular image so you can convert the image or crop the image to a, a specific aspect ratio for example this uh, square which you can see uh, or a landscape or different aspect ratios are uh, available here for portrait etc so let's say uh, I want to make a square and you can also adjust before cropping adjust the image position and then hit apply now this size of image will be saved generated and saved in the media library again by the Gutenberg edit as you can see as you can see this is the square image size generated by the Gutenberg editor nicely I didn't have to uh, take the image to a uh, image editor online or offline tool or app Gutenberg has it for you in place right inside the image block so if I go to replace option and open the media library I can see that a new another new image has been generated the original image is again saved in your media library like before I'll select this again so these are the options you have in the editing options you can zoom you can set an aspect ratio crop to an aspect ratio and the last option which is available is you can rotate your image as you can see you can rotate your image 
to whatever uh, position you want to and then click apply and if you want to leave the changes uh, you can either click outside or or you can click on the cancel button the replace option i've already explained to you you can replace this image from either from the media library or from the upload option so these are the options you have in the toolbar and by the way for if you want to write a caption you can simply write it here whatever caption you need to write caption here and uh, you can also do some formatting and link the caption even link the caption to anything the link control is the same you can either link it to internal and make it online or open in a new tab and it has some options again like the paragraph block basically so these are the controls you have in the top toolbar for the image block now let's have a look at the options available or controls available for the image block in the sidebar so make sure you select the specific image you are uh, trying to uh, apply styling or changing the options so the first panel we have is the styles panel so in the styles panel you can have different image styles there are only two added by default but you can see more styles available here depending on the theme uh, you are using or any plugin additional plugin you are uh, using which may be uh, providing you more styles over here so as you can see this is not really looking nice or an event circle when I apply the round style this is because the image size or dimension or aspect ratio was kind of a landscape so to make a circle look really circle you basically need to set the aspect ratio to a square so when you do this when you do this i'll show you what happens okay now you see a perfect square if i zoom out i don't see an option to zoom out okay here it is now you can see this is a perfect square if i apply this because for for seeing a perfect square your aspect ratio of the image should be a square so before these editing options you had to make uh, or crop the image in an online tool or an uh, in an app like photoshop or figma or something to uh, to resize your image to a particular uh, to a perfect square but Grunberg image block now provides you the options in line which are really great so the other options uh, we have for the image is under the image settings panel where where you can type uh, an alternative text for the image which is good for SEO you can type any alternative text here you can select a different size uh, and by the way uh, these are not uh, CSS sizes these are the file sizes that you can set uh, so that it it affects you your page performance and um, for example if you are using the image in a three column layout you won't need to serve the large file size which is higher in higher taking the more KBs or or, or, or on your overall page load page size so you can adjust it to either medium so for so that it serves better your page loads faster so this is really useful when you are creating some image intensive or image heavy uh, design or or a page so you need to consider this uh, wherever you want to uh, you if you are considering or concerned about the page performance alternatively there is a, some dimension options available here which can which basically adjust the image size using css this is not uh, like uh, uh, getting the actually uh, a smaller version of the image this is still the large image but the size is adjusted using the css simply you can reset it as well so these are the two options available uh, for the image block the other option which is the advanced option is a standard panel which is available in all blocks where you can have additional 
style CSS class where you can apply or add additional class for this image blog if you want you can add an HTML anchor and additionally this is available for the image blog in this panel which is a title attribute for the image so you can write this for and this is helpful for the SEO so these are the options for the image blog in Gutenberg.